Hello friends. So in this video, we are going to understand what is normal form or a canonical form. So let's say if you have a matrix and you want to convert that to a normal form or a canonical form. So guys, to do that, what we do is we apply few row and column transformation or sometimes both type of transformation on the matrix to convert it in one of the four forms. So these are the four forms. So guys, the four forms that you can see here are called as normal form of a given matrix. Now let's understand these four forms. So in the first form you can see we have written i r inside the matrix so i stands for identity matrix and r is nothing but rank of identity matrix for example i have a matrix of order 3 by 3 so this matrix i can represent as i3 so guys this is nothing but a normal form then the second form is I R 0 0 0 so we'll get this form like this so let's say I have a matrix of order 3 by 3 so this can be represented as I 2 because it has identity matrix of order 2 and other element so let's see the other element so here we have the third row with element 0 0 0 and we have the third column with elements 0, 0, 0. So, in this matrix, we got two rows and two columns. Now, one row and one column is missing. So, we'll add more zeros. So, now this will become a matrix with three rows and three columns, out of which two rows and two columns represent identity matrix of order 2. Next, we'll get this IR0 like this so let's say i have identity matrix and we have extra column that is column number three so such matrix can be represented as i2 and zero over here so this is and the last one is ir0 in which we'll get the extra row so let's say we have element as 1001 this is identity matrix and two zeros so that becomes i2 and zero so guys these are the four forms and these all forms are called as normal form or canonical form now to obtain these forms what do we do is whatever matrix that is given in the question we try to bring one on the diagonal so at the position a11, a22 and a33. So we try to bring one at each position and then using that one, we get zeros at different positions or the remaining positions in the matrix by using the row and column transformations, obviously. So guys, this is how we convert any given matrix to a normal form or a canonical form. So there are two tips which you can remember because it will be helpful while getting the normal form. So let's say if you have a square matrix. So in square matrix, you may get the normal form like this, that is IR, or you may get the normal form like this. And whenever the matrix is a rectangular matrix, you will get these two forms. So to summarize, I can say the form number one and two, you will get if the given matrix is a square matrix and form number three and four you will get if the given matrix is a rectangular matrix now guys to understand this normal form how to convert the given matrix to a normal form we are going to cover a couple of examples in the coming videos so keep watching the videos because in coming videos i'll be solving many numericals based on this normal form thank you very much